Uh, tonight's quite early. Um, you know, just to it's nice to to get a, a score for the team. You know, we 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 were basically one 0 down after the game against the West Indies, and you know there was a middle order collapse against them. Sunil Narayan was a world class spinner. He kind of got stuck into us on on that particular day. So personally, to to be out there to grind it out for <laughs> for nearly 30 overs and. Um, you know the trend of white ball cricket over the over the last year has just been big scores and free flowing um, uh, batting innings and you know big sixes and fours. So you know for me to pull out that performance uh, was pretty satisfying. 100%. Um, we never batted out our overs against the West Indies. Uh, we probably could have uh, sneaked out the further 20, maybe 25 runs, and against them on on that night could have proved. Um, vital for us, uh, so the chat mainly, even though we were six down with like 20 overs out, uh, the chat was to get to that last over, the, f the 50th over. Yes, we lost a few wickets, but you know we earned, it, we earned the right to have a, a, f a few goes uh, in, in that last over. Um, and just to bat the time and, you know, one, 190 proved successful tonight. Yes, you know, um, like I said, Naran got stuck into us the other night and anybody, I mean, he got stuck into the Aussies for for, for a few overs, you know, Maxwell and Smith uh, kind of fell towards him and it's, it's quite tough to start against a world-class spinner on a, on a slow turning deck. Um, but that will be our focus going forward. Apparently St. Kitts and Barbados offers a bit more pace and bounce, a bit more even and true bounce. Guyana was obviously low and slow, so it, it brought all the, all, all, all the spinners uh, into play. Similarly, our spinner did really well. Pangi took three, three wickets against uh, the West Indies the, the, the other night, and Shamsi, Imi, and, pa and Pangisa did really well again tonight. So there's a big emphasis on playing the spin. Uh, hopefully the tracks would be a little bit more in favour of the batters uh, in St. Kitts and Barbados. No, I think the chat was that we, you know, we hung in there, we, we had a score to bowl at. Um, we knew that you know, the Aussie team are, is a team full of confidence. Um, they are they, they ODI side. And, uh, but we knew that 190 would be tough. Uh, they, I think they didn't struggle too much uh, getting the score the other night against the West Indies, but it was still tough. Uh, and that early, the, the first 10 overs, the first 8 overs, you know, Parnell and, and Gagey bowled really well, got those three wickets which put uh, Australia on the back foot. Um, so the chat, in the, the chat halfway through was that we've given ourselves a chance and if we bowled really well, which we, which we did tonight, um, you know, we could, we could win the game and I'm very glad that we did. It's not easy beating the Australian team. Yes, uh, I think it was one of those wickets where there was quite a lot happening. I thought uh, Finch he played unbelievable innings, considering the considering the conditions. Uh, but we always felt that that, that uh, we were in the game. You know, we went with a quite a, with quite a bold game plan. Go with uh, three spinners today. I mean, that's probably not something we've ever done. I don't think as a South African ODI side. But uh, you know, we went to something really bold today, and you know, that paid off on a wicket that that offers some assistance for the, for the spinners. Yeah, he brings a, um, a new energy to the group. You know, he made his debut today against the, the, world, the world champions, you know, so just chucked him in the deep end straight away. Uh, I play with him at the Titans in, uh, in South Africa, I was my state side, or franchise side. And there's a little bit of mystery to him, you know, I think, I, I think we've seen the rise of wrist spinners um, coming to the fore in the shorter formats, you know, Zampas come in, um, a lot of the IPL teams uh, have two, maybe one, maybe two uh, wrist spinners, um, which turns the ball both ways. Uh, and, and, and I think that's, that's the key going forward, um, is to try and um, get some backup for Imran Tayyeh, who's been a fantastic servant and he will continue to be that servant. And we need somebody to kind of be, be groomed by him. And the British Amzi offers a left arm Chinaman, kind of like the mold of Brad Hogg, but a fire in his belly, you know, he's always up for the game, always keen uh, to put a performance in, so, uh, and it's always gold dust to have a guy that turns the ball both ways. I think he's had my number over the last few days, especially with the spinner friendly conditions, but um, he's tough to pick and uh, I hope he'll be, he'll, he'll be tough to pick for, uh, for, for the next couple of weeks. You know, like I said, he's new, so uh, teams wouldn't have too much footage on him. Um, and hopefully the wickets uh, will, will assist a little bit for him. But as I've heard, that the wickets in Barbados and St. Kitts are a bit more batter friendly. So um, he'll, he'll have to work hard and work on his links. Um, but yeah, we, as a team, we're very excited about the left arm wrist spinner playing in our, in our starting eleven. You know, it's, uh, 
it's something something really we're looking forward to. Hopefully, he can be um, a member of our side for four for years to come. We were successful against the Indian side in, in, in India. We beat them 3-2 in the ODI series, uh, which is probably one of the tougher places to play spin. Um, a lot of the guys have played IPL or were part of IPL team, so they had uh, spin-friendly condition to, to train in. Um, I think the game against the West Indies was a bit of a blowout for us. Uh, we, would, we did so well, we grafted so hard for about 35 overs and we kind of had a, a bit of a collapse, which can happen against a world-class spinner uh, on, a, on a turning deck. So it's something that we've been spoken about, and Neil McKenzie on, in our batting coach, uh, uh, there's some, some good ideas. And a lot, of the, a lot of the guys are keen, you know, we learned from AB and JP who've played quite a lot of cricket and Hashim, I'm up at the top of the order. So we all have some good plans and Faf Tupesi yet to come into the side, you know, he's T20 captain, he's played in IPL for six, seven years and um, a vastly experienced player, very good player spin. So there are some good ideas floating around, it's just about executing on the day. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad we executed today.